Well, good morning, my friends, or afternoon, whatever um, time zone you happen to be in. Um, I'm glad you you felt drawn to to join me today. A um, few reasons. I I just I really I really love the the subject of our inquiry today, and um, I think it's really important. You know, I kind of put it into this category of awakened living, and I, hopefully we won't talk about that in an overly idealized way, but um, uh, but we're going to, I want to approach that today. I've approached this over the last few years, especially from lots of different angles. Some of them could be considered a bit more absolute, some of them more relative means. Um, I think both of those ways of approaching um, living life and from an awakened perspective have have real value, are, are important. Today I want to, we're really going to approach, approach this from a standpoint of uh, really going back to kind of the, the essence of, of all this, which is really a kind of transformation of a vision, um, whether we call that an awakened or enlightened or, you know, however we want to hold that, but it's the transformed um, vision that informs a way of being and um, not only informs a way of being, but, but is um, a way of a way of being. It is a way of existing. I, I hope to make that clear as we go on. Um, I just wanted to start briefly. We're going to start with a few mo- minutes of meditation in just a moment. But I also thought that this is a, <clears throat> you know, of course, this was unplanned. But I think it's a really, really good day for us to be doing this together. You know, those for those of us in the United States, you know, we're we I think we all know that we're in a, a particularly um, tumultuous period, not just with the, the COVID, you know, shutdown and stuff, but um, you know, with the unfortunate killing of this this man George Floyd and and all the the marches and rioting and you know the up the social upheaval that that's brought to our attention and um the sense of of the this this sort of deep deep cultural challenge this deep cultural wound um that that is has been crying out to be addressed for gosh almost since the founding of the country but is is still very much with us and I just thought that, you know, in a day where we're really going to dive into to this kind of awakened living, you know, um, which is also the impact upon our lives and each other and how we encounter all the challenges of living, the absolute, the absolute beauty of being, the tragedy of being, the, the love and connectedness, the, the violence and the hatred, you know, the whole experience of of being human being. And I just woke up this morning and, you know, I've been, of course, following what's been happening the last number of days. And, and I just felt like this is a really good, this is a really good day to do this. Um, it's, it's, it's a kind of contribution, I hope, not only from myself, but I hope for, for all of you too, that, you know, there's lots of ways of contributing to life. Some of those are very internal. Some of them are very externalized. Some of them are a combination of both. I think life needs all of these ways of participating, the internal, the external, the, the mixing of, of, of both of those orientations, um, I think has a really important part to play in our, in our spirituality. And so um, I just wanted to begin the day with just an acknowledgement of the the challenges that that we're all going through, of course, with the virus thing, but also with this this latest, more cultural challenge of um, of this young man's um, not just death but killing. And I think this is a nice. I mean, it's a terrible backdrop, but I think it's an important backdrop against a day like this because. It, I think it can help remind us that our spirituality, even our inner life, not only needs to be, but actually is grounded in, in human life, 
in the life that we that we all live in the life that we all experience that that's the that's the soil from which um, our spirituality, our sense of being, um, our connection um, arises, and of course that soil is full of beauty and and challenges and and all the the opposites um, from love and hate and ignorance and clarity and enlightenment and unenlightenment. That's the soil of of our lives, um, and. That's the soil of our lives as long as we're living and breathing on this earth. And so I just wanted to, to start with this sort of reminder that as I see it, you know, that this is, this is important stuff. And this is stuff that's not just, it's, I think if spirituality is to be authentic, it is not going to be disconnected from the realities of all of our lives, from my day-to-day -day life, your day-to-day -day life, our collective life, that I think hopefully our, our spirituality, even our realization, our, our awakening experience, those are our insights, our revelatory moments, they all in their own way, I think, seek to be grounded in the embodied soil of, of our own humanity. Um, and... And with that as a backdrop, I, I think it it it, la it adds a well a kind of point poignancy and perhaps a certain you know just a reminder of of importance of of what we're actually doing here. It is for, in one sense, it's for our own well-being, our own revelation or awakening. It is for that, and of course. We cannot divorce ourselves from from all of life. If awakening shows us anything authentic, it shows us that we cannot divorce ourselves from all life. That we, our true nature, is synonymous with the totality of life. And that sounds like a rather that can sound like a rather high level abstract experience of unity, but an actual fact. It's the actual experience of unity is, is actually quite grounded, quite earthy, um, quite in touch with all of, the, all of the practicalities, the great challenges of existing. And I think spirituality in an authentic sense is not just a, ref or not even primarily a retreat from these challenges, but is actually a... Uh, uh, a swan dive right into all the constituent realities of of existing right and not existing um, so let us just remember that and and have what we do here today and in the days weeks months and years of your life to come um, to have that be grounded in a sort of remembrance that of the importance of all the different aspects of of our lives um, and the great challenges we have individually and collectively as well right that's if our spirituality doesn't touch that if our awakening doesn't touch that then there's something seemingly innately inauthentic about it